श्री सचिन रमेश तेंडुलकर प्रीस टेल मी व्हाट इज पॉइंट ऑफ अब प्रीस अब अरे मैंने अलव किया तो आप बन सचिन रमेश रमेश तेंडुलकर प्रीस इज फर्स्ट टाइम इज स्पीकिंग so first time is speaking let him be heard with i with attention i request all the honorable members huh? to give him an opportunity he is speaking first time made in speech let there be no disturbance anand sharma ji please sachin ramesh tendulkar sri sachin ji please sri sachin ji please ye paddhati nahi hai ye paddhati nahi hai ye honorable member who has been awarded bharat ratna by the government he want to make a submission on sports which is a very important activity for the country please follow the rules thoda maryada rakhiye unko suniye aap mein se jinhone naam liya wo bhi boliye ye acha padhati nahi hai isse kuch hone wala nahi hai nothing shall go on record except what see sachin tendur ke saying please baith jaiye please maryada pura desh dekh rahe ye koi padhati nahi hai ab re baith jaiye बैठ जाइए प्लीज बैठ जाइए आप बोलिए बोलिए रिकॉर्ड में नहीं जा रहे ये रिकॉर्ड में नहीं जा रहे आप बोलिए प्लीज प्लीज सचिन तेंदुलकर ऑल ऑल फोकस शुड बी ऑन सचिन तेंदुलकर पूरा देशवासी देख रहे पूरा देशवासी लाइव टेलीकास्ट जा रहे आप लोग कैसा व्यवहार कर रहे हैं पूरा देश देख रहे मैं आपका विवेचन पे छोड़ रहा हूं आई एम लिविंग इट यूर बेटर सेंस यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू रेस्पेक्ट अ पर्सन हु इज अ लेजेंडरी इन क्रिकेट इन इंडिया एवरी यंगस्टर इज इंस्पायर्ड बाई हिज गेम एंड यू पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट टू हियर हिम ये पद्धति नहीं है नमस्कार मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों कल कुछ ऐसे बातें थी जो मैं आप तक पहुंचाना चाहता था अभी भी वही कोशिश करूंगा आई ऑफन वॉन्डर वॉट ब्रॉट मी हियर लिटिल डेड आई रियलाइज that those baby steps in cricket would lead me to great lifetime memories i always loved playing sport and cricket was my life my father professor ramesh tendulkar was a poet and a writer he always supported me and encouraged me to be what i wanted to be in life the greatest gift i got from him was the freedom to play the right to play and i would always be grateful to him for that there are many pressing matters in our country which requires our attention economic growth poverty food security health care among many others being a sportsman i am going to talk on sports health and fitness of india for it has a telling impact on our economy my vision is a healthy and fit india jab swasthya hua tab desh mein kuch hua india is set to emerge as the youngest average age nation in the world by 2020 so the assumption is ye young hai to fit hai but we are wrong we are the diabetic capital of the world with over 75 million people being affected by this disease and when it comes to obesity we are sitting at number 3 spot in the world the economic burden of these diseases will not allow our nation to progress according to a un report the impact on the indian economy of non communicable diseases from year 2012 to 2030 will be 6.3 trillion US dollars yani indian 4 crore crore rupees aapne sahi suna 4 crore crore rupees magar ye number hum sab niche la sakte hain agar hum sab ne yahi koshish ki ki hamari sehat theek rahe sahi tarah se exercise kare aur koi sport khele to bahut kuch badal sakta hai but I feel uske liye we need a plan to help us become a sporting nation to change our sedentary lifestyle unhealthy mindset hamare fitness ke sessions light ho rahe hain 
और खाने के सेशंस थोड़े हैवी होते जा रहे हैं हमें यह आदत बदलनी चाहिए मुझे लगता है कि इस मोबाइल फोन के जमाने में हम सब इम मोबाइल होते जा रहे हैं मेनी ऑफ अस ओनली डिस्कस बट वी डोंट प्ले एट ऑल वी नीड टू ट्रांसफॉर्म इंडिया फ्रॉम अ स्पॉट लविंग नेशन टू अ स्पॉट प्लेइंग नेशन मेक एवरी वन मोर एक्टिव एंड पार्टिसिपेटिव इनकलकेट एंड डेवलप द स्पॉटिंग कल्चर इन आवर कंट्री द नॉर्थ ईस्ट ऑफ इंडिया विच हैज ओनली फोर परसेंट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया हैज अ वाइब्रेंट स्पॉटिंग कल्चर इट हैज प्रोड्यूस मैनी स्पॉटिंग हीरोज इंक्लूडिंग आवर बॉक्सिंग आईकॉम मेरी कॉम रिसेंटली क्राउन चैंपियन वेट लिफ्टर मीरा बाई चानू दीपा कर्माकर बाई चंग गुटिया सरिता देवी संजीता छानू एंड मैनी मैनी मॉल स्पॉट प्रमोट सोशल हार्मनी प्रेजिडेंट नेल्सन मंडेलाज एफर्ट्स टू यूज द रग्बी वर्ल्ड कप इन साउथ अफ्रीकाज जर्नी टू बिकम एन इंक्लूसिव स्टेट इज लेजेंडरी स्पॉट हैज अ यूनिक वे ऑफ बिल्डिंग अ नेशन इट बिल्ड्स कैरेक्टर फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स एंड कैरेक्टर फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स मीन्स कैरेक्टर फॉर इंडिया फ्रॉम बींग अ नॉटी चाइल्ड टू चेजिंग अ ड्रीम टू विन द वर्ल्ड कप फॉर इंडिया आई बिकेम मोर डिसिप्लिन एंड मोर फोकस्ड आई हैड अ गोल एंड आई स्टार्ट प्लानिंग फॉर इट बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट वॉज द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दोज प्लान नॉट ऑलवेज डिड आई सक्सीड देर वर ओकेजन्स वेर आई फेल बट स्पॉट स्टॉट मी टू गेट बैक ऑन माई फीट अगेन एंड कंपीट इन द फेरेस्ट पॉसिबल मैनर I fondly recall a few lines shared by my father many years ago. Parabhav manje shevat nahi. Harun gharat bashna yogya nahi. Kadhi tari ekada utkrushta khyaadu hi shunya var baad hoto. Pan tyan antar cha sangarshach udya cha samarthya nirman karto. Ayushala ek vegri kalat ni dito. We must build a sporting culture in our country. Otherwise, a young unfit unhealthy india is a recipe for disaster i am humbly proposing a framework of three i's here invest ensure immortalize invest we must invest our own time and effort and ensure our wellness each one of us needs to start adopting an active sport and play it regularly we have our honorable chairperson who loves his game of badminton much like the famous poet and lyricist gulzar saab's love for tennis age is no bar as we are a country where one of the oldest marathon runners is the 101 year old ep parmeshwaran from kochi whom i met recently our citizens and school children should have access to more sports infrastructure open spaces and playgrounds should be retained along with smart cities we should look at building smart sport cities in this context i appeal to the honorable minister for corporate affairs arun jetli ji to kindly consider a percentage of csr spends be made compulsory for the development of sports infrastructure at a policy level sport should be at par with any other subject in schools children representing school district state or country should get added marks or grades this has been an area that i have been pursuing since the beginning of my tenure i am grateful that it is indeed under serious consideration with the hrd and sports ministry is working together on the same jab ghar mein beti paida hoti hai tab hum kehte hain lakshmi ghar aaiye us lakshmi ko lakshmi ki tarah rakhna hamare haath mein hai daughters of india have shown what they are capable of with champions like sindhu sakshi saina sania mitali and the list goes on and on when dreams don't discriminate then why do we i want to appreciate their parents 
their family members, their coaches, their friends for helping them, for encouraging them and that is the only reason they have reached here. My message to parents is to give equal support and encouragement to their daughters and sons and they will make them proud. Before the Olympics or a major sporting event, our expectations go skyrocketing. I realize that things are changing for the good and that we have adopted a long-term approach on preparation. Along with early identification of talent, we must also have a dedicated squad guiding our athletes preparations. And I feel it is extremely important to have a full-time support staff around our athletes and winning medals should become their target as well. Last year, before the Olympics, one of our wrestlers was traveling to America for better sparring partners and to learn modern methods of wrestling. Could we have got them to India instead and use Digital India to share their training sessions with the rest of our coaches? And I'll back that up with my conversation with our badminton icon Pulela Gopichan who said there is abundant badminton talent in India but he was concerned about the coaching standards in our country. Persistence, preparation and practice will help us achieve our targets. I know there is no glory in practice but without practice there is no glory either. In short, financial security is often a challenge when any sports person decides to focus on sports alone as their career. I am sure our colleague and former India hockey captain Dilip Tirki will agree that in most cases the sporting career ends at the early age of 35-40 years. Ironically, it is an age when a professional's career usually takes off or is rather stable. I am also aware that the government through its many institutions employs sports persons and supports them which we all appreciate but we have many national state district level retired athletes who don't have a proper job some of them are probably passing files from one table to another while ensuring their financial stability we must also keep their minds engaged their skills and passion for sports would be best utilized for coaching our future generation. A case in point is the life of Nauri Mundu, who was a national level hockey player from Jharkhand. Following the end of her playing career, she doubles up as a teacher and works in the farm to make ends meet. Sita Sahu, a medalist at the Special Olympics in Athens in 2011, is selling gold guppas to manage her life. We need to create an organization and engage these athletes to train our school children and identify talent at an early age. There, there is so much that these athletes have to offer back to our society. It is also imperative to have health insurance for all our national level athletes. The struggles faced by our hockey great Mohammad Shahid in his last days reiterates the need to prevent such unfortunate situations. The life of Shamsher Khan is another reminder of how we have failed our national heroes. The champion swimmer represented India in the 1956 Melbourne Summer Olympics. He finished 5th place which continues to be the best Indian finish in the last 6 decades. He developed hearing and heart problems and due to financial constraints continued to live with these problems till his death. Our national heroes should be able to live a respectable life. Extending CGHS benefits to them is a step in that direction. I appeal to the Honorable Minister of Health and Family Welfare, JP Naddaji, to kindly consider my request on this issue, which is in line with the recommendations put forth 
by the AICS. Gold, silver and bronze have appreciated in value over a period of time. However, sports persons who won gold, silver and bronze medals for India, do we appreciate them enough? Achievements of champion sports persons like Nawab of Pataudi, Prakash Padukone, Karna Malleshwari, Ajit Wadekar, P.T. Usha are not celebrated anymore. These champions, our heroes, didn't have the best of everything, but they made the best of everything. Today's generation probably doesn't even know what these champions achieved in their time. Along with what's happening around the world of sport, I think it is extremely important that the youngsters learn about our sporting history. All of us have had heroes in life who have inspired us on various occasions. As a proposed sample, we have compiled a book on some of our unforgettable heroes among many others. I sincerely feel the lives of these champions should be part of our curriculum. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where once there was only despair, said Nelson Mandela. In the year 2009, this August House passed the right of children to free and compulsory education bill. It is my humble suggestion that the act be amended to include the right to play. Sports can be considered an essential and mandated part of the curriculum. Consequently, each child should get the right to play a sport at school. Mata Pita, jaise aaj tak, apne bachchon ko poochte aaye hai ki kya tumne khana khaya, kya tumne padhai ki. Mere liye wo din sabse bada din hoga jab in dono cheezo ke saath Mata Pita apne bachchon ko ye bhi poochenge ki aaj tum khele ya nahi. I want to thank all of you for listening to me. Together, we can build a sporting culture in India and transform the way we live and play. Jai Hind!